All right, back with uh, Average and Best Cornhole, and we got something a little different today. We got um, Big D's, right? Big D bags. Big D bags, right? And I'm really excited for these ones, especially, you know, when we got out there throwing them because there's some uniqueness to these bags. Big D makes some unique Big, bags. Big D is, uh, you know, he's trying, they're trying to be innovative. You know, they're he trying is. to bring things out. You know, these aren't cookie cutter, you know, copies that we see, you know, a lot with all these other bags. There's, you know, some uniqueness and some innovation here we're going to talk about. Yeah, we'll get into it a lot deeper, but... But, I mean, the Maryland's, they got that crazy hourglass shape, which makes them feel tiny. Yeah. And then the dudes, I mean, those corners are so square. It's the it exact opposite, it right. It's so large. Yep, yep. It, it, was, it was unique throwing these two bags, you know, together with each other. It's quite different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right into the designs and, uh, you know, our thoughts on the scoring for these. And uh, pretty good. Uh, you know, we're going with a three on these. You know, they're uh, kind of going, you know, with the movie star, the celebrity theme and stuff, which is super cool. We got Marilyn Monroe, which, I mean, everybody loves Marilyn, right? And then uh, we got the dude from The Big Lebowski, which is uh, super cool, you know. Uh, you know, I, I like seeing that. You know, again, that's something that's, you know, kind of a little innovative to me because you don't really see something like that a whole no, lot. He's definitely on the cutting edge. He is, is, he is, which is exciting. You know, yeah. I, I, I like that. I want to see more of you bag makers out there. Break the mold. Come out with something different. This, uh slow sides on these um you know craig's going to get into a little more with uh you know what this type of material is but it's it's unique and it it feels great in the hand and it looks good so that kind of you know helped us you know give it a good score there with the three yeah we can move right into availability of these bags they're it's hit or miss right now kind of i mean you could probably go on there's probably some listed it big d is not a big operation I, i think he just moved shop so he's been starting to reproduce his bags He's actually coming out with some new uh, series also. So I think he's I think he's ramping up his production and getting it. You're just going to have to go to the website and check to see, you know, which ones you can get. And he's coming out with crazy new designs also. So it's, yep. it's pretty neat. So the cost of scoring, pretty pretty good under 100 bucks here, right? So, you know, $80. So we're going to give it a three with the scoring. And that was shipped, you know, no shipping charges. $80 flat. Right. And uh, that was, you know, that was even without any promo, promo code or, you know, any – you know, holiday sales, anything like that. So you're going to be able to find them at times for even a better price than that. It, like I stated earlier, I mean, it, it's a small operation. It's just one guy doing all the work. He's actually, I've heard him say that, you know, he tried getting people to help him, but he didn't think that they did good enough work or whatever. So he just wanted to do it all himself. Uh, he is a former engineer too. So, you know, I give him props for that. And that's <laughs> probably where all these crazy, you know, uh, yeah. designs and stuff and the shapes of these bags is coming from. He's just trying to do something different. And at Big D Bags, I mean, he is also the co-host of the Texas Cornhole Podcast, which is a pretty neat podcast. If you're into that and you want to listen, he does have his website. It's just BigDBags.com and a Facebook page, which is just at Big D Bags. Break-in method on these bags is a little unique. When I was on the website, I saw that he suggested using something called Podium Potion which is just another company out of Texas. So I think there's that correlation there. But that's a $20 a bottle. You're supposed to use half a bottle for a set of bags. And I, I just – I wasn't too impressed with it. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, – when I first grabbed them off of you, you know, they still felt like they had some break-in needed for sure. Yeah, we had to throw them a lot more. Yep, yep. But we always suggest – Yep, what the manufacturer recommends, go with it, you know. Keep the warranty. You know, they know their bags better than anybody else. So, you know. I think he's just trying to help out another Texas yeah. <laughs> That could be. But, I mean, he seems to be kind of perfectionist, you know. Yeah, with You know, so, too, yeah. he, he, you know, I'm sure he has some faith in the product. You know, it's still the way we're going to recommend breaking these bags in if you get them. And if you do happen to buy the Podium Potion, we have a video posted of us breaking yep. these bags in with it. So there's a little instructional there uh, if you want to take a look at that also. Now it's time for the bag each, and uh, these Maryland's, they are unique. So it's it's a double herring bone pattern. So if you look closely, you can see the corners, the seams actually go in. And for one, it makes the bag feel super tiny. Very tiny. But I, I think he claims that it gives you a better hand feel you know, when you're gripping it. Yeah. And then also, like, collecting, you can imagine some gears or something. If you got that heavy corner and you spin around to collect it, it's going to grab a little bit. And he thinks that it helps fall in the hole because there's more of a chance you're getting some beads in that corner yeah. to fall in the hole. So, it, I mean, it's pretty neat. It's, it's unique. you got to get used to it, right? Yes. Yeah. It, it took a while, you know, that small feel and everything. You know, we'll talk a little bit more of, you know, if – 
those claims or what he's trying to do kind of came into fruition for us. Uh, nonetheless, it's innovative and it's pretty awesome to see. And if you are curious, I will try to find the link for you, but he actually made a long video on Facebook explaining all this. He'll be, do a way better job explaining yeah. it than we did. Right. So if you want to try to seek that out, like I said, I'm going to try to get a link for you. The, you know, the dudes, like we said, you know, and you can see here, exact opposite, right? You know, big, bigger pattern, feels way bigger in your hand, especially when you go from the Maryland's to the big, or to the dudes, you, you just, it does now feel huge, you know, and they're not really that huge, but they're, they're very square and uh, pretty cool. They even feel huge on the board, you know. Right. Yeah, they, they, they do. Bags. They do. All right. So speeds on these, we got, you know, nine on, on the fast side of both. So we got a nine and a, and a six to six plus on uh, the Maryland's here. And then the dudes are rated at a nine and, and then a six, you know, with it being a, a similar carpet to the Viper. Uh, I, I didn't I didn't feel a six out of that. I felt they were slower than that. I uh, Yeah. We're familiar with that carpet. Yeah. So it, it is a little bit slower. And plus these square corners, I think I think that really slows it down. It's like more of the bags touching yeah. the surface. More surface more, area, so more friction. Slow down. Yep, yep. And then the Maryland's, yeah, that six plus on the slow side, that material is fast. Yeah, it, it's very fast. I actually liked it. You know, once it took me a while to adapt, but I, I really started to like the speeds on those. Uh, I did not get a chance to throw them in any, any type of humidity, so I'm very curious of how this material reacts. You know, when we get a little bit of humidity, I think it's going to speed up. <laughs> yeah i mean that would be a first time right yeah so talk about the materials a little bit more uh the dude i mean it's a viper arc clone it has that r carpet and the viper fast side the maryland it shares the same fast side which is that yeah. viper fast side but like we've been saying this uh this hybrid material is unique and this truly is a hybrid material it's like a woven blend of polycarbonate and polyester and actually the polyester is raised and what Big D claims is that when you spin and this bag hits, that it flattens out the polycarbonate, which is a slower part of the material, actually touches the board, so it slows it down a little bit. But then when it comes to a stock, it's raised up, yeah. so it's real easy to collect and move and push. I, I don't know. That seems kind of a little out there, yeah. you know, for a material. Um, we felt they were fast no matter what. So. Right. Yep, yep. So get it in the template. Maryland's a medium, but it's it's a medium small, right? I mean, it feels small, yeah. yeah. Measuring corner to corner, you know, it's, it's it, a typical measurement, but it just feels small. It does. It, it's the smallest hand feel bag that I've thrown yet, mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, big D, you know, it's your your medium to medium large almost, right? The dudes or the dudes? Heck. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, the dudes. You know, they're definitely you know way bigger. You know, like I said earlier, when you when you go from throwing the Maryland's to to the dudes. They feel huge after that. And I, I think that, again, that's kind of, it's just those corners, those yeah. square corners that makes it, because they measure comparable to each other. Right, right. And then the Maryland is definitely a lot thinner, too. Yes. Uh, the dude is definitely fuller. And as expected by a smaller operation, one guy doing it all, the bagmanship, it's excellent. Yeah. You can tell he takes a little bit of time and effort into sewing. And like I said, he actually stated that he tried getting someone to help him. But he didn't like the work that they did or something in those lines. I think that was on one of the podcast shows. Yeah, the quality seems great to me. You know, no uh, you know, no, no loose threads, anything like that. You know, anybody that's gonna take the time to try to create something unique like the Maryland here, you know they're gonna take the time to make sure that the bag's put together the right way. So full thumbs up on the quality here. Forgiveness on these bags, dudes. I mean, your Viper R clone, we know it's a it's a forgiving bag. You know, the, because of the, you know, slightly larger template and the corners and stuff. The Maryland, you know, I, I don't think it's as forgiving as a bag, simply just because it, it's so small and fast. I don't think it has time to kick on you, though. Correct, yeah. Well, one thing I will say that with the Maryland that kind of helped with forgiveness for me is that is an incredibly easy bag to put spin on. Like, I mean, I feel like that thing was coming out of my hand like a top. And, you know, so my throw was on, you know, to me, that, that greater spin gives me more control when I, you know, hit my spot that I want to. So in that aspect, I, I got a lot of forgiveness from it. Whole bodiness, the dude, I'm going to give the nod to the dude on the whole bodiness. Yep. Uh, it was yep. definitely a whole body. The Maryland, we were trying, I, I don't know, the, the things with the shape, I really didn't see that happening. Sometimes it spun right over and you'd see a corner kind of fall into a hole and it would just keep on going. Right, right. I even remember specifically saying when I was throwing, I was like, Craig, I was like, the gear's not working. Because I hit some that like I thought was going to like create that effect. But I, I think what kind of 
makes that not work in the concept that it's supposed to is the speed of the bag. Mm -hmm. I think if we had a slower bag like the dude here with that shape, I think we may see more of that, you know, workings of that hourglass or gear shape, however you want to go with it, to collect and, and grab into each other. Mm -hmm. So I think this, the speed of this bag kind of made it hard for that concept to work. I, I agree. I think so. It, it's fast, and it seemed like even when you uh, tried collecting with it, it would just it'd scoot right past the bag you were trying to collect. Right, yep, yep. But, you know, it's you get it near the hole, it's because of it's a fast slide, you're going to get those ones that will just kind of slide in as other bags hit it. So you're, you're going to get that. Yeah, and the dude with its collectability, I mean, it was very collectible. Yep. I think that was those square corners. It just There's so much more material in there to, you know, grab when you was coming around. Right. It just kind of grabbed it and drug it. Yeah, dude was a lot uh, more collectible. Again, you know, I'm really starting to see that with the, if the bag's a little bit slower, it seems the collectability is a little better. Now the Maryland was, you know, still pretty collectible. Like we didn't really get that gear effect to work like we were, we wanted to. But you know, if you if you got a blocker up there, you know, and you hit the blocker, everything's going to slide in. So you, you're, oh, yeah. the the simple collects are going to be really easy with the Maryland. But I think some of them harder bags that are a little bit off center and stuff, getting them to collect. Uh, it just really wasn't working for me. Speed consistency, I mean, we kind of touched on that a little bit earlier. Both these materials, they're going to remain consistent yeah. in, you know, all weather conditions. I, I do think the Maryland might speed up a little bit more, but we're familiar with that R variant carpet. Yeah. And it's not going to slow down in humidity too much. Yeah, just a little bit, but you can still keep playing it for the night and everything. Yeah, you know, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm very excited to see the Maryland in, in a humid condition because it's, you know, that... So such a unique carpet trying to, you know, achieve different things at the same time. And it's fast. You know, what's it going to do? You know, we're going to find out. We'll let you know. Capable shots on these bags. The Maryland's, it's, it's a whole runner bag. I was able to cut it a little bit, I guess, sometimes, but not much because it's just too fast. I had a few accidental blockers, I guess. But the one thing, good thing about it is if there was a blocker up there, like your opponent had a blocker, it was you could just like power through or right, power right. around it or whatever. That, that was definitely the benefit of that bag. Yeah, for sure. If somebody had that blocker that was just a little off center because of that smaller side mm -hmm. and the speed, you could sneak right by it. It was it was really good for that. And we were playing it against the dude, which, right. I mean, I feel it was the block bag dream because, yeah, right. you know, the square corners mm -hmm. and it literally, it looks big and intimidating on the other side of that board. Yeah, yeah. But we, with this Maryland, I mean, we were literally just scooting right past it. Yep, yep. Yeah, we were. Um, now, I was struggling to, to find a consistent cut shot with the Maryland uh, versus the dude. You know, I, I was able to more consistently hit the cut shots that I was trying to go around bags and stuff like that. The the Maryland with the blockers, too, I guess one of the downsides of trying to block with that bag is because it's it's so small mm -hmm. and because it's it's faster. It, it people are going to push you know just push your block out of the way you know put both bags in and you know and lose your blocker versus the dude it's going to be a little harder for them to just you know push through it yeah but sometimes having that bag up there as a blocker too is really going to distract your opponent you know that's like, yeah maybe they can't hit you know hit it to push it in this guy right <laughs> here you know they learn that they block me and then i lose so yeah, i'm still working on that so if you guys got tips for me how to beat the blocker let me know man because that's 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 my next step in my my cornhole evolution is beating them blockers. <laughs> uh, just some final thoughts on these bags. You know, the, the dude, you know, Viper R clone for the most part, you know, it is what it is. We, we all know the bag very well, so don't need to go too much into that. The Maryland, on the other hand, you know, we're, we're going to kind of leave this as, you know, like to be determined later, right? I think where we're at, you know. We're, we're going to leave it open, yeah. Yeah, so we, we didn't initially, you know, we love the uniqueness of the bag. It's, the, the Maryland's very exciting because it's there's no other bag that we've had so far that's like this or is trying to create concepts that this bag's creating, but I think it's something that we got to adapt to. So we need to spend some more time with these bags to, to really, you know, give give our overall thoughts on what they are. Yeah, and it's not like we didn't throw the Maryland's. I've been throwing them yeah. forever, you know. It's just, it's, it's unique. It, it, it must be a mindset thing. Oh, for sure. Something you got to get used to. And I think that if that was your bag, like your primary bag, your favorite bag or whatever, you would probably love it. Yeah. Right? But switching back and forth between bags and stuff it was just it was too complicated to throw these two bags together yeah yeah i, I agree with that completely because the as the day went on last time we threw these i was getting more comfortable with them more but mm -hmm. just like you said where the 
where I struggled is, yeah, going from that bag to another bag back to that bag because it's just such a different hand feel, mm -hmm. different, you know, way that the speeds hit the board and stuff. It was just hard. So, you know, I want to spend, you know, a good amount of time where I'm only throwing those and, and really see if uh, I can put those concepts into, into action. So we are still going to score these bags. And surprisingly, I'm, I'm giving the Maryland's a three. Yeah. There's a couple of reasons why. Because, like, you know, we're going to power through this. We're going to work through this bag. The uniqueness, it's a great bag. And it always won the one-on-one -on -one battle with the dude. You know, even though we're saying it was more difficult to throw, yeah. it still beat the dude in our battles. Which I don't know. It's, explain that one to me. Yeah, I mean, maybe we were in our own our own heads too much about these bags because you know we put a lot of thought to them because you know what uh, you know Big D's bringing to the table with them. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I agree a three, the Maryland, I, I, I love the uniqueness. It, that's, that's so rare in this industry right now. You know, everything seems to just be cookie cutter. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm going to give you a, a, a higher score just for trying to be different, try to, you know, create some concepts or, you know, change the industry. That's, mm -hmm. that's what it's about. Yeah. And I'm, I'm only giving the dude a two bagger. I feel 50%, uh, it's a Viper R clone. There's other Viper R clones out there. This one really didn't stand out too much. Right. I, I think I would reach for other either the Viper R itself or mm -hmm. some of the other clones that we've seen, like the Power Dragon or the Prisms, yeah. before I would reach for this bag. Still a great bag, so don't don't take us you know the wrong way in that. It's just for for us, I think some of the other clones are a little better. Yeah, and I, it must be the square corners or something, but I, I felt like this bag didn't travel in the air that well. Like, yeah. It didn't have the proper aerodynamics, and every time I threw it, it kind of looked like a wounded duck, too. That's what I said, you know, uh, yeah. You know, I call it the, you know, the Peyton Manning. But especially, you know, what I was saying earlier about how easily I could put spin on that Maryland, the exact opposite for the dude. I felt like I was struggling to get that, that spin that I like to have on the bag, and you know, which started causing me to do different things to try to increase the spin, which you know, reduced my accuracy. Will these bags make you better? <laughs> Probably not. Um, you know, the Maryland, if anything, you know, uh, I would say has the potential to do that because if you can you know, spend the time with the bag and get the concepts to work then yeah right you know that's the whole point of you know what's different about this bag is is to be able to do things that the average bags aren't doing yeah i, I guarantee they'll make you more versatile yeah right, right? You know, yeah you get used to this uniqueness i mean if you could throw these bags and then interchange and throw other bags it's it's definitely gonna up your cornhole game a little bit in that factor are these bags worth the cost i'm going with you yeah at that price point any pro bag is going to be worth the cost in my mind yeah essentially yeah, I mean, we have the stamp on there. We're under 100 bucks. Uh, hey, so that's all we got on uh, the big Ds today. And, uh, you know, like always, you're going to be average at something. Might as well be average at Cornell.